guys welcome back to my channel today I want to show you guys a quick little Sephora haul yes I do um so I have this box in front of me actually I ended up getting like two or three different shipments I don't know why seems like they came from different warehouses and then one of the things that I got apparently um couldn't be shipped via airmail because it was hazardous or something and it's funny because my husband goes <clears throat> my husband was like well if something can't go on an airplane because it's hazardous, why would you put it on your face? I'm like, I don't know, because it's makeup, right? So, um, so yeah, so basically I wanted to kind of go through uh, my Black Friday, like, shopping that I did. I really didn't do much, I'm going to be honest. I felt like I did. This looks so ugly. I'm sorry. Hold on. So on Black Friday, I really didn't go crazy shopping with regards to makeup. I did do a lot of like Christmas shopping and that kind of thing, but I really didn't buy a lot of makeup. I totally just went onto Sephora, placed one order, and called it a day. I did buy things that I've been wanting to try um, or have needed. I didn't need backups of anything, so I didn't go out and get any of that. So the first thing I wanted to try was this Stila six-piece set. This is the, what is it called? This is the eye for elegance shimmer and glow glitter and glow it brings um six and apparently these three here are the shimmer and glow and these are three new colors um how much was this i want to say it was 45 over on sephora and i wanted to give it a try because i know that they have the magnificent metals i also i think that's what they're called and i've also um wanted to try the ones that are in a pot that come with like the little um I guess the dropper, I never got to try that. Um, I never got around to ordering it. Even though I really, really wanted it, I couldn't justify spending the 20 whatever dollars on that one little pot. And then a lot of people complained about a lot of fallout and that kind of thing. So I was just like, e yeah, no, it's just a phase, it'll pass. But then when these came out, I thought it was super cool. I thought the concept was better. Cause you don't, you know, hy hygiene wise, it's not bad. Um, and it has a, a doe foot applicator. I wanna go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So the Shimmer and Glow, you have Kitten, Grace, and Twig. So, here you have Kitten, Grace, and Twig. I like that Twig, actually. So here we have the color Kitten. I don't know if you can see that. That's super pretty. It's like their highlighter, actually. Like, pretty much, it's like a nice, kind of light pink. And then, which one is this one? I'm going to swatch Grace for you. It's still a little pinky, but more on like the taupey side. I'm not sure if these are coming out right or not. They're like super um, metallic though. And then this darker one, which is Twig, looks a little reddish brown, I think. Yeah, it's like a, actually it's like a metallic bronzy, but deep chocolate brown. And here you have twig so that's what the colors look like I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the glitters for you but I you know what I think I might just do them here so this one is peachy sheen super pretty actually it looks a little pink though oh I can see that this is a little sheer actually patchy so that's peachy sheen I don't know if you can see that but it's it's a little patchy, which I don't like. So I don't know how that would transfer onto the lid. Then we have Smoldering Satin. Oh, you see. So maybe... Okay. The second one right there, this one here, that is Smoldering Satin. And that one is super just once, like you glide it once. Super opaque. It's not patchy at all so I don't know why the first one I don't know why peachy sheen is patchy maybe you just have to kind of like I don't know let me see I'm gonna try again I want to give it benefit of the doubt but so far there's only one that I'm not happy about let's see yeah no yeah no it's still patchy still kind of clumpy I would try in such a pretty color, but it's, I don't know if you can see that. It's, 
yeah, it's clumpy compared to the other one. So smoldering satin is super kind of like glidey clean and pretty and just like applies the way you would want it to apply on the lid. And then the um, the peachy, I have to get used to the names, the peachy sheen is like very patchy. The next one is Next to Note. Let's see how that one applies. See, Next to Note it's just like the smoldering smoldering satin. It's just glide it once, you get the glitter, you get the sheen to it, not patchy. And then that peachy cane is very sheer. I don't know if that's what that that was the intent behind it, but it is extremely sheer and clumpy and patchy. So maybe Maybe that one's meant to be more of a topper. Um, the very next thing that I got, obviously, if I went that route with the six, I ended up getting the three pack. And this is the Stila Written in the Stars three pack. Um, and this is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow um, set. I feel like none of these are new. I think people have talked about these before. So this three pack actually retailed for $25 for the holidays and you're getting Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma, and Smoky Storm. But I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these and actually they're, they look very different. They're like much shimmery than the ones that came in the six pack, which I'm surprised about. But let's see, actually I'm gonna swatch them right next to the others and see how that turns out. That's a Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow set. Glitter and glow. It's the same thing, but it almost looks different in the packaging. So this one here is Diamond Dust, which is really nice. And I'm going to swatch that right under Peachy Keen. Okay. So the Diamond Dust is very similar to the Peachy Keen in terms of it being sheer and just super glittery. So it doesn't have like a, like a pigmented colored base so maybe we're getting somewhere with the peachy keen i'm not sure but i i, I hope you can see this on camera because on my angle i really can't see if you're getting this shimmery goodness but if i get closer you might be able to see that this on um, diamond dust is actually pretty sheer just like um the peachy keen so let's see let's go on with kitten karma very nice color. It's actually like pinky or another pinky. You see, I don't, I don't know, cause now you have this kitten karma, and it's opaque, like the other two. Not patchy. No, no clear base to it. It's, it's pigmented. I'm confused. I don't know. Okay, let's see. And the last one is Smoky Storm. Let's see how this one. Okay, see, so this one, Smoky Storm, is also very pigmented, um, and it doesn't have a sheer base. So I'm just going to assume, because that's all I can do, that Stila had intentionally created both um, Diamond Dust and Peachy Keen, even though they came in different packaging, like different sets. I feel like these are just meant to be toppers and I think they're not pigmented for a reason. So I do think that these were just meant to be like toppers on top of any um, kind of uh, 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 eyelid color that you have. I did notice that Peachy Sheen is extra patchy and when it dries, it looks extremely crumbly. Like, it looks like a crumbled mess. And then um, the Diamond Dust is actually really nice. That's like a really nice topper. I wanted to give this Lock It Cur Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer a shot in the color medium. And this is what it looks like. It's by Kat Von D. Um, I do have their eyeliner and it's like really good. So this one is in the color medium. And it's just like a an eyeshadow base kind of primer pencil. I don't have any other eyeshadow primer bases that um, are in stick form, but I really wanted to give it a shot, so I ended up getting it. It was 50% off. I feel like it was like just like 10 or 11 bucks or something like that, and it comes with a lot of products, so I feel like this would be really convenient for when I'm traveling, and it's just kind of like really hygienic, so I wanted to give it a shot. I hope it's good. Oh, and it comes with a little sharpener. I'm always so nosy. What if I would have broken it? 
Another thing I ordered, I'm really excited to give a try, is this Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. I do know, that, I think that this one's the smoky one. I do know that she released like three or four of these, so each palette has a different like shade selection. This one is more of the cool toned kind of colors. I really liked it, and honestly, what sold me was A, the mirror, and B, this eyeshadow right freaking here. Um, I don't have that I could, I have a hair on my neck. The only one that looked so unique to me in pictures and even in person is this color right here, this silver. It is beautiful. I'll go ahead and swatch that for you. Um, but this was super affordable. I want to say it was like $27 or something like that. This is the black. I mean, wow, yeah, okay. I, this is the first time I try it. I haven't opened it. I Just by looking at the silver, I found a love. But I'm already disappointed in this black. Let's go with the peachy color. Okay. The peachy's good. The peachy, it's, it looks a little powdery. But there's no fall. It doesn't look like patchy, so that's good. Wow, look at that third shade. Super buttery. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. Okay. See, now we're talking. That third shade is amazing. Look at that silver. I suck at swatches, so just work with me here. Oh, look at that. I want to do a look with that silver. Like, that's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that, like, brown... See, come on. See, she's doing well with everything else. Like, everything else was really nice, and then the black was like a flop so far. Look at this kind of, like, metallic, deep chocolate copper color. Let's go ahead and swatch that gold. See, come on. Huda, you know how to do these metallics well. Look how pretty one swipe and you're in. Oh, wow. My swatches are, like, all over the freaking place. This is a matte... Yeah, no. Patchy. Like, patchy. Like, I can totally see my skin. And there's clumps of this eyeshadow. My battery died, but back to the regularly scheduled program. Sometimes things do swatch kind of patchy and not that great on the skin. And then with a the brush, you apply it and it's, you know, very light amount. Um, and so it works and it blends beautifully. So I'm going to have to try it on my eyes first to determine whether or not this palette is, like, worth it. Even though I am going to say $27, it's, it's really worth it just because of the shimmer tones. I feel like Huda. Oh, no! Look at that. I'm going to have to exchange that. I can't. Uh-uh. No way. That happened. Literally, I opened it and that happened. The metallics and the shimmers are beautiful. And then the mattes are completely lacking. And then I did notice, look at that. I noticed that the black had a crack in it. I didn't think it would be a big deal. And it just completely freaking shattered on me. So I'm glad I literally just opened it. Because I am taking this right back. So that I can exchange it for one that's not cracked. Because that's bullshit. Just saying. But still, $27 not bad. I'm just annoyed that that shit just cracked on me. And now it's all over my vanity. Like this freaking sucks balls. This is the roll on... I deep like it's an instant deep puffing eye roller thing um and every time I kind of wanted to try it out it was sold out because they put it on sale um so I just waited so it literally it has what it has 0.5 fluid ounces and I don't know if you can kind of see that there but it has like three little roller balls it's supposed to massage right under your eyes I don't know oh Okay, I squeezed it a little bit. I was going to say, I don't know how to activate it, but I just squeezed it and some of the product did come out. So um, I'm going to read the instructions, but I'm assuming you just kind of massage this directly under your eyes and wait a few or whatever, and then um, it's going to instantly depuff. So I am excited to give this a try because I've been looking, and it, every time I'm trying to get it, it's freaking sold out. So I finally got it, and it was on sale. It was like 9 bucks or something. So I'm super excited about this. And I did get my Sephora Rouge um, gift. I haven't opened it clearly, so I was really excited. Um, this year, usually they give like NARS and like blushes and that kind of thing. This year they gave a brush. It comes with like this kind of, um, 
I don't know, like safety package for your brush so you can protect your brush so it's like a like a like a little protector. And then it's a travel sized brush and it's cute because it has like the Sephora emblem and it says VIB. Um, I would use this more so for blush or like bronzer, not necessarily foundation, but I think that's a nice brush. I must say that I was super excited because Thanksgiving Day I woke up and I'm going through my Instagram feed and I noticed that make them see, they're on Instagram, they're like literally just search them, make them see. They reposted one of my pictures and then shouted me out and say that I won a $25 gift card to Sephora. Um, if you don't follow them and um, you like to take personal like pictures of yourself, beauty pictures, at any time of picture, um, they do like to repost and like um, shout out uh, creators. Um, and they're really nice people. I've been following them for a little bit of time now. And they're always like shouting out people and giving them props and credit for like their hard work and like their pictures and how creative they are so I really liked that and I was super surprised because I was like who is this and why are they and then I'm like oh yeah that's make them see and then when I read that I was excited that someone even reposted my picture to then see that I won a gift card so I was like yay I never win anything so um make them see thank you so much I appreciated that gift card because that gift card actually I used it for some of the stuff and I ended up um getting VIB Rouge status um if you don't follow them go on Instagram and follow them they do giveaways every single week they pick one of their followers every single week and they give um they give them a Sephora gift card so you never know you might be the next one to win the gift card I know I sure was surprised like super surprised so you guys that is it for this mini kind of Black Friday haul from Sephora I hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know down below if you ended up trying or, or getting any of these little like kits from Stila and whether or not you ended up getting like patchy shadows because I'd be curious to know if I'm the only one that got patchy shadows because I'm kind of disappointed on the patchy ones and not like I haven't made it clear in this video but I'm like yeah, I'm kind of disappointed on the patchy ones. Um, so let me know down below if you got any of these things. What's good, what's not, what was patchy, what was not. And what's your favorite thing out of my mini little haul. I didn't get a lot of things because I really didn't need much of anything really. So I just wanted to place an order and say I placed an order on Black Friday. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.